Hello, this is Ben. I wanted to make a ultra quick video here just to talk about the brand new Shaper Studio. So I made a video previously about Shaper Labs. Shaper Studio replaces Shaper Labs, it appears. Um, this is gonna be their new paid software. Um, if we scroll down here, $99 a year, which isn't cheap, but it's cheaper than some of the alternatives. There is also the Studio Lite version, uh, which looks like it, you know, as you would expect, has less features and uh, less options to it, but might be something to try out. Um, they're offering a 14 day free trial. If anybody's interested in that, that's what I started with here. So I haven't actually paid for it yet. So I'm going to give it a, a whirl. I've already played around with it a little bit and I'm going to go through a uh, a demo just to show off some of the features of the new design and then hypothetically let's just make up a fictional law firm here so these are the same uh features that we had previously so for instance you could also always uh, add text in shaper labs so if we just place text and now i can go in edit selection and change the fonts. So I think they've added some fonts. Um, frankly, I would say, I don't think they've added anything significant. Um, even if there's more fonts, I don't think there's any that I would choose over the previous fonts. So um, there's that. First feature that I want to point out here is you can change the anchor points now. So uh, as you're transferring it into the Shaper Origin, you can change the uh, anchor hypothetically if you wanted to go from the bottom right bottom left what have you you can change the anchor point which is a feature i don't know how useful that's going to be in practice but it's there um additionally so all the rest of the options with the exception of anchor point existed before in shaper labs um so now the other thing that also existed but just to kind of show you Let's say this fictional law firm wanted a uh, scales next to their logo. I can go ahead and put that there. Uh, so I'm not gonna worry about the scaling of the image here just to speed this video along, but I'll just slide this over to the side. So those are pretty much the standard elements um, as well as the shape builder tool, which still exists here. Um, so I could still make a circle, add a square, and then co combine, well, combine. shapes oh it looks like this might not work yet so this is you know shortly after launch so it doesn't seem to be allowing me to click this um, oh no there you go okay yeah so that was user error so I'm gonna delete this but still that feature I think is good still exists um, one of the new features that I was the most excited about and I think a lot of other people were excited about was the ability to import an SVG so let's say this fictional law firm had a uh, logo that they wanted incorporated if I add that here place separately now and let's just sort of scale it down a little bit to uh, match the rest of the design do, 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 do. a little bit uh, 10 one just to match the scaling a little bit better so these are the elements that i want in some you know just a demo here but just to kind of give you an idea so these options here so this is the design space this is essentially what shaper labs was the new features is that you now have a plan tab where you can see all the cut paths for your design so for instance this logo i would want pocketed let's say so instead of the outside cut type i can hit pocket and go through here i haven't seen a way to select multiple at once oh nope 
that seems to be working now. Again, this is, you know, brand new. So I think they're updating in the background or else I didn't see this earlier, but it's allowing me to click multiple now. Okay, well that wasn't working earlier, so. And I can go through, select, you get the idea. Um, and just hit pocket. And this came in pretty ready to go. So I think already their uh, SVG import seems to be pretty uh, well tuned, which is good. And then if I scroll over. So then the third tab here is the review tab, which should, should, I, I stress should give you an idea of what it will look like when you cut it. I've done maybe three or four different, you know, very quick, obviously, but very quick um, test projects. And I don't think any of them have shown up the way that I think it should show up in the review tab. I'm, you know, hesitant to say that it's broken because it's obviously a few hours after launch. I've only used it for a few hours, but I'm pretty close to just saying that it's broken, you know, you know, whatever update is coming up, hopefully to fix that. But, and I also want to be clear here. I don't know how useful the review tool will actually be and how much I will personally use it in my workflow. Um, it doesn't really seem to have a huge uh, benefit because at some point you're like, you know, being able to determine the cuts and then, you know, maybe quickly flipping to a review tab, but I'm not convinced. Um, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. I think that's, you know, almost every feature that I can think of that I wanted to mention. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll be going through those later on today. So hopefully I can get back to you and answer whatever questions you might have. Uh, thanks for watching.